Awesome, beautiful music by a beautiful human being, and what a beautiful way to begin the week. Says it chum to you all. Good morning. Good morning. Wow. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. You look amazing. Thank you. And your voice. Wow. So what? What did you eat before? Did you like do any vocal training? Banana, drink water. <laughs> what did you do to sound this amazing? None of these things. It's just a gift. Yeah, so you just wake up and you sound like this. Yeah, I wake up and I came here. Wow, that's why you're a musician. <laughs> Please sit down, sit down, sit Thank down. Thank you. Let's have a conversation. Please sit. Okay. You want some water? No, I'm fine. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank so you. officially, welcome to GTV Breakfast. <laughs> Pleasure to have you. It's an honor to be sitting here with you. Thank beautiful, you. beautiful city. Too. Okay, so um, first let me ask you, what, what did you do this weekend? How was your weekend like? What did you do? Were there church activities? Did you church have to travel to sing? What was happening? funerals and um, I think I've been having interviews throughout the week okay. and then the weekend was I went to a friend's funeral and then Sunday service as well. So okay. That has been it. <laughs> okay. So um, <clears throat> for, for somebody like you, okay? who began music way back from like 2005 that's like 18 years in the music industry and you've given us back-to-back -back hits how do you make sure that your songs stay evergreen first how do you ensure that your songs stay evergreen because all your songs are evergreen everybody was jamming to your songs when we go back into time and we go to all the cc tune, people are going to jam to it so how do you ensure your songs stay evergreen first of all <laughs> Um, first and foremost, I think um, good music doesn't fade. So, um, so far as God has given you the gift, you also need to work on it by making sure that you always have a good music out there. You okay. don't just produce any song because you just want to be out there, okay. but you make sure you come out with it. Uh, songs that I mean fills the heart that okay. motivates the soul. Yeah. Okay, so w from a professional perspective, like yours, what would make a good song? What makes a good song? What do you need to have in there to make <laughs> lyrics, a good song? Rhythm, okay. yeah, lyrics and rhythm. That's mm -hmm. it. Okay, and so for you, CC, when you do your songs, like for instance, um, Dimo Hene, mm -hmm. for instance, um, most people say that they got inspiration from the Holy Spirit, like the words dropped when they were dreaming. For you, do you get the same or you get inspiration? Do you do research? What goes into your lyrics? Oh, that okay. Um, I sometimes have some of these songs um, in, in a dream. Okay. Um, our daily lives, what goes around. Mm -hmm. And also, some people do write some for me. So okay. that's it. So that's it for you. Okay. So what what's your relationship like with social media? Are you the kind of person who when she wakes up, you have to like go and check all your notifications. Mm -hmm. You have to see who's <laughs> what's just tell us what's your relationship yeah, with social media. Yeah, I'm a social media, media person though, you are? but I'm not the um loud out there. Um I post what I feel like posting mm -hmm. and I don't really like checking on comments and, and likes and all that's fine. Once in a while, if you get to um, a notification that someone has tagged you or something, you would want to go and check what it is, and that's it. So I'm not that social social media person. Okay, yeah. okay. okay. <laughs> we'll, we'll be taking a quick break. Um, we'll listen to one of your songs. When we come back, we'll ask you some more intimate questions about your relationship with social media. Guys, you're going to be spending time with Sissy Chum. You're going to get to know her better. In the meantime, GYAE is coming up now. Yes, I would in any Would in any Yeah, cool too
back in studio, still spending time with a beautiful, beautiful, talented Cece Chu. Okay, so now back to social media. Mm -hmm. Because we, do, it's, we don't want to dwell on all the negativity and all the things that people said after the Yidiades, Yidiades. How do you deal with like negativity on social media and then how do you recover from it um, as a person in the public eye? Okay, I'm one person that I don't um, pay attention to what goes on on social media, whatever you say about me. Because um, person, the person sitting at home or writing whatever or singing whatever doesn't even know me. So why should I bother about somebody who, doesn't, who barely knows me? Whatever he or she says about me, I don't, I don't bother about it at all. But rather, any criticism, I make sure, I, if it is a video or whatever comment, I make sure I read or I listen and then... Um, if there's something to learn from it or take from it, if it's a good criticism, right. that's fine. But if just want to bully somebody or bash somebody for no reason, I don't pay attention to no, it. So you I won't even mind ignore. you. No, um, you completely ignore. Right. <laughs> okay. Thanks for that. So, w w what's your favorite? Your favorite? What's your biggest song yet? Uh -huh. you, what's your, have you finished? Yes, I've, your, I've not finished bringing out songs so i won't say that's my biggest biggest but i will say there's a song that brought me to the limelight that is Minyamia Yevi. and it's other others also call it um on the but it's the same song <laughs> okay so can you can you do that for us all right just, just a little on <laughs> the so we're free. You now remember us. Uh. <laughs> don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> Guys, we're still getting to know her. So tell us, how, how, how did it all... Oh, okay, so there it is. We're taking you back into time. So we're free. Taking you back into time, remembering Sissy Chum when she began. And so, what did this song do for you in terms of, apart from it bringing you to the limelight, what did it do for you in terms of, like, you know, sort of opening doors? Did you feel pressure to come out with bigger hits after this? Never. I've never felt any pressure that, if you check, if you follow me very well, everybody that knows me knows that Sissy um, does things in her own pace. Nobody forces her to do anything. Um, I don't feel like somebody's out, so I also have to be out, no. Okay. Okay. I wait for the right time, appropriate time to release songs. So this song actually um, did a lot, a lot spiritually and physically. Okay. That opened the door for me to travel abroad and all that. So it really did a lot, a lot, and still doing a lot because if I go to any program and I don't sing this song, I'll be in trouble. I know, so, because you <laughs> sang it here, and I'm like, yes, 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 that's it. So it's, right, still, right. it's, still, it's still a big song Okay, for me. okay, yeah. and so what's from your camp? How many albums, how many EPs, how many singles, how many songs in total do you have? Uh, as for years. singles, I'm so debril. And then the, um, I don't have EP, okay. I have albums, okay. I have, I think, five albums. Yes, uh, yeah. And then a lot of singles out there. Mm. Yeah. Okay, and, and collaborations. Yeah, features. collaboration. I've seen the, this one was with Nasi. Yeah, Nasi. Okay. And I've had one with Joe Metal, yes, the yes, one yes. I just sang. Yes. And then I had a new one called um, Strong Tower. That one I featured um, Prosper Ochimana from Nigeria. Okay, okay. So, yeah. Okay, okay. Also, I hear you, you would, um, Yvonne, has, Yvonne Nelson has inspired you to write a book. Mm hmm. Are you going to be writing a book? Mm -hmm. You are. Yeah. Well, what's going to be in the book? Please. Oh, in the first, mine is not about. Be in the first chapter. Uh, no, no, not um, in a relationship form or anything. But I grew up very, very, in a very tough way. Uh, my growing up wasn't easy. I went through a lot. I went through a lot, and I sometimes don't believe um, I'm the one sitting here because I never thought. 
God will bring me this far. So I think that's what I will use to, I mean, tell people that no matter what you're going through, no matter where you are, if God says it's your time, it's your time. God can lift anybody from anywhere and make them great. So that's going to be about the book. Okay, so yeah. it's going to be an inspiration. Yeah, inspiration. Okay, and so what, what are your general thoughts about our gospel music industry? Contemporary gospel is hitting the roofs now. Gospel, we've moved from the era where gospel was just checked in the corner. We, we are now where um, gospel artists are taking home artists of the year and lots of artists. What's happening in the gospel music industry? What's the future looking like? Brighter than <laughs> the this? The future is very bright, mm -hmm. very bright. And I think we are doing our best to always be on top. Um, at first, you know, we are in our own corner and all that. But now we've come out of our shows and I believe we are going to do better. Okay. More and more okay. artists of the year is coming. Okay, we are looking forward <laughs> to that. Now let's talk your latest project. Mm -hmm. Freedom Medley. Yep. Freedom. What, what what inspired the title Freedom Medley? Freedom. All right, the songs are not mine, first okay. and foremost. Okay. It's um songs from our legends and I decided to do those songs and then revive it back to the system okay. so it's from reverend francis aj i believe when the song is being played you get to know mm. because even <laughs> when i was mentioning my song but immediately they, they played the song you were like oh so um reverend francis aj tego sisters and i think francis has okay so i compiled those songs and then i, I gave it a twist and then I released that. I have an annual program which I do every year in December. Exactly. That's called Gold Worship. So we actually performed that song on the day. And then we got to know that the song is beautiful. We can't just throw it away. And then we decided to release it. Okay. And so we're going to listen to the song now, Freedom, Medley by C.C. Chum. A mixture of old into new. <laughs>
beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. It's just, just it's nice, it's nice. Okay, so um, how how long has it been out? Oh, I think a month now. Okay. Yeah, okay. because I released it in June, June ending. So okay. let me say almost a month okay. now. So this was recorded um, last year then at the Gold Worship, Worship concert. Live. Yeah. It was live. So if it I had live. come to the concert, oh, you, I'd you would have seen clip. yourself Next in the time, video. Just invite I me. Will. I want to be in the clip. <laughs> so what well, are we going to be seeing? Um, say you going for performing this song and oh, then yeah. seeing maybe you Tego sisters joining you, mm -hmm. having these mm -hmm. legends join mm -hmm. you. Is that mm -hmm. are we mm -hmm. seeing? Whenever that? maybe I, I meet them um, at any program, I would love to. I mean, invite them to sing their their very own songs. Wait, but have they heard it? Oh, I've told them before bringing. Okay, them. okay. And, they and are what, aware of it. Yeah. So what was the what was the reaction? What were oh no, they were like, oh, you can go ahead. So it wasn't anything. Okay, but did you ask them? Um, what they thought of the song after your remake? Okay, I think it was Reverend Francis Seji who requested that he w he would want to listen to the song, and then he gave the feedback that nice song. So yeah, oh, that must make you feel really. <laughs> but but that's, that this takes us to um, when we say that we don't hear the old kind of um, old school music like people don't make mm -hmm. that kind of music before and the call for mm -hmm. younger artists to mm -hmm. take up um, old songs and make it better how do you feel being one of the few to I mean have started doing this let's say in the gospel um, music industry I think it's all um, some some people if you take their song they won't even allow you yeah so I think um, if somebody gives you the go ahead that's when you are also going to I mean renew their song and then reintroduce it to the system so it all depends when you hear a song and you think the song touches you and this song has really um made some waves years back and you want the younger ones to get to listen just contact the person and then go ahead and then okay. if the person gives you the go ahead i mean you record it so that the younger ones who is coming up will get to know of this song because they have very very great songs okay yeah. so contemporary gospel we are now seeing gospel music the rhythm moving from um the very kakaka -ka -ka. so now we are getting we have i'm a piano gospel we're having i are, are, are we are we to see um <laughs> sissy tumon and a um, piano beat soon never say never you might not know you don't say. <laughs> do you know any? Do you know? Okay. Do you know any secular songs? Do you listen to any other songs? Oh yes. Gospel? Oh yes. You I do? do. I do. Okay. I do. Okay. Whenever what I sit songs? in my car, yeah. I get when the radio is on, I get to listen to some songs. So I know a lot of secular songs. Okay. So w w what's your take on urban gospel? It's just rap now. Mm -hmm. What's your take on on? It's on? beautiful. Yeah. It's so beautiful because. Every generation and what God does, we shouldn't forget that. We are in a social media era. Our young ones doesn't even um, know how we did things years back. But they know what's going on. They like Sarko Deer, they like the, the rap music, the Stone Boys and all that. So if a gospel musician is doing such song in that um, genre, to win the youth, I think that's beautiful. That's perfect. It's perfect. Okay. How do you feel about collaborating with a secular artist then? I don't, I don't mind. If only I pray about it and God gives me go ahead and shows me whoever, I will go ahead because they have some kind of audience and maybe I have a target audience I want to reach to preach my message to. I think I will go for it for it. Okay. So if I were to be a little more mischievous, if you were to pick somebody out of the blue, maybe you've thought about, oh, I've listened to this person's song, I'd like to do a collab with him sometime, or her, which artist would you pick, or which artist would you like to work with in the circular I can't music? sit here and mention anybody right now, because there are many, there are good, good, good um, circular artists that would want to. Yeah. They are kind of vocal, they are way of life and all that. I would love to, but I can't. Right now, I don't have anybody in mind. Okay. Yeah. Now, what, what do you think about music industry as structure? You've been around for 18 years, you've seen the various chapters, you've seen the moves, you've seen the music guests, you've seen the gamers, all the rumors, the back and forth. What's your take on our music industry, which you are a big pillar, actually? Honestly, I've never ever paid attention to music and gamro stuff. You don't say. Um, yeah, I've never been there to collect anything for that. <laughs> Why? But Why? 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 <laughs> because it seems like there, there's always issues here and there on radio. And 
it's not like that, that strong for me i think i don't know what's going on there at the moment but maybe a time will come that i'll be more interested to i mean i'm good but for now since i started working i've never been there since 2005 and so what? G musical Gamma is keeping all your royalties, if there are any. Is that what it is? Can you just sign a note on, on so I take, I go and take it on your behalf. I come and show everybody how much you have. Can you just do that? Then I'll go there. I'll carry a few rounds for me. Don't worry. I'm ah, going to I can take it. Yeah, take us along. We'll go. Hey, take me as well. We'll go. Take us along. Okay. Now, how about the music industry itself? There was a time where we couldn't... We couldn't, quote-unquote, rub shoulders with Nigerian gospel artists because of whatever. Now, we're back-to-back. Back. You guys are on stages in Nigeria. You guys are on stages everywhere in Africa, across the globe. What's making, what, what's accounting for that change? What's that you are doing? What's new? What are you doing that's new? Please tell us. We like it, Pan. <laughs> tell us. Uh, as I said, um, um, every generation knows what God does, and then... We got to know that our songs um, shouldn't be heard only in Ghana, mm. but rather um, we should try as much as possible to enter into some markets as okay. well. So um, I think um, it's a strategy, though. Okay. Yeah. So which country have you performed in, yeah, or been on stage in that you never thought when you started out in 2005, never ever thought that you'd be on that stage in that particular country? Mm, I would think it was um, in Benin. Benin? Uh, in Benin, yeah. Okay. And that was a very long time ago. They have this music festival they, they do mm. over there. And we, we had the privilege to attend. So, okay. Yeah. At that time, my name hasn't even popped up that big yet. Yeah, but I had um, um, the privilege to Go I mean, yeah, be there. Okay. okay. Uh, 18 years in the industry is no mean feat. What are some of the challenges that you face that you'd like to share with us and how you overcame those challenges? Um, the, all the challenges um, shapes us, though. Um, the challenges always has been monetary. Um, not having producers around, you have to do everything by yourself. Every song you see out there by CC is produced by CC. I've okay. never had any producer. So, um, though it has been challenging, but, yeah. you know, God will never send you anywhere and make you stranded. He has always come through, and mm -hmm. here I am. Okay. Um, um, so, what, well, financially, when you're about to, um, uh, there's a concept, production-wise and whatnot, how do you go about it? Corporate Ghana, do you go soliciting from door-to-door? -door? Give us the feeling. Yeah, so yeah from door-to-door, -door, you go to some of the um, corporates well, too, and then, Corporate world, but I mean, it sorts certain things out. Yeah. And then people that love your ministry, that they are well to do, also support the, the, the work. The industry. Yeah. Okay. Do you do anything apart from music? Are there any no. alternative jobs? No. Full time musician. Mm -hmm. Nice, nice, nice. <laughs> okay. So, as an artist um, and also a mentor to other artists, how, how do you balance, you know, nurturing yourself as an artist and becoming better and also. Um, passing on your talent and little gifts to the other people that you're nurturing how do you keep that balance oh um you know people love your ministry others would want to be like you and all that so some do come to me and then we have a, a group i have bds and then if i get to know that you have the talent you have the voice i will like take you and then be part of the bds as you saw them so throughout i mean you also be able to, I mean, come out with your own stuff. So it's being there. It's also a training. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Do you have a band? Do you have a band? Yeah, I do. A personal band. Yeah. What? 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 What's the name? What's the name of the band? <laughs> I don't know whether they've changed your name. They used to call David. <laughs> they call them what? David. David. Yeah. Okay. David. Yeah. David from yeah. the Bible. David. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, what, what? What's your take on on churches paying instrumentalists? Mm -hmm. What? What? What's What's your take? Yeah, I think it's a good thing mm. um, because um, some of the instrumentalists, that's their job. That's all they do. They don't have any other job apart from that. So it's like they're also working in bank. They're also working in 
at a TV station that they had to get paid. So yeah. I think it's okay if you have an um, instrumentalist in your church and then you need to pay. They, they have to eat, they have to wear clothes That's and all right. Some are married, have kids, and then so they need to be paid. Okay. Yeah. Um, if, if, if you were to play God, I like to ask this question, I ask everybody this. If you were to play God in a creative industry, what would you change CC that will make our industry better and it's going to hold forever? Mm, what a question. I know, play God for one day and change <laughs> something in the, in the creative industry. Wow, 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 wow. This is a tough one. <clears throat> I think I would want gospel music to be the top priority yeah. in this country because um, we go to parties, funerals, um, wherever we go, the VGMAs, whatever we do, we say um, before we start, we should um, um, invite God first, which means God is the most ultimate of all things. So I would think I'll make gospel the priority. The gospel will be the, the top notch in Ghana. Yeah. Okay, we like that. We like that. Also, general thoughts about social media in recent times, negativity, bullying, and all sorts. It's happening across social media. You figure that people look up to thousands of followers across social media. How do you think we can sanitize our um, um, social media airspace one day at a time or from one um, influencer at a time? What's your take? Adam? Thank you. I think... If someone sees something that um, we get to know that this is a bullying or this is disrespectful or a hateful word, that person must be, I mean, hold uh, unaccountable for Maybe it. Maybe like banned, totally banned or off. arrest or come and explain what you said. Right. You can't just sit at your home and say something so hateful or so disrespectful, disrespectful to someone just like that the other time someone like went very extreme to insult somebody with not her having children and that's that was very very emotional yeah. thing that i saw and it wasn't me but i was felt broken it. i felt it how can you insult somebody with that thing you don't do that you don't do that so i think the person the thing what really hurts the person and the person cares the girl also on social media which is not nice so somebody like that needs to be arrested one time one time or ban or strip you of whatever social media like you are on whatever maybe suspended so, or thank banned, you something so like that, that we have because a lot are dealing with stuff that we don't know you just see them on social media and decide to write things that you feel like writing, which is not nice at all. You don't know what it does to them, but they always out there smile, so you think it's okay, but it's not, it's, not, it's not okay at all. It's not nice. Okay, since we are on social media, let's stay there a bit longer. The, the current crop, we are just seeing dance challenges. Every artist comes out with a new song and it's a dance challenge. Is it true? You have to do a dance challenge for free, freedom midly. You <laughs> now have to do a social media. It's so sweet. It's so sweet. Some of the people we've spoken to say it's a way of catching a certain crowd from different areas of, I mean, different parts of the world. Your thoughts? And it's when, when When are we seeing the freedom um, um, medley challenge? As you have said, I think I, I would go and work on it. But mm -hmm. I see it to be a very beautiful thing. Mm -hmm. Nearly you hear the song, the dance comes on your face like that and it goes with it. So, and it makes the song like travel faster. It's so beautiful. Okay. So beautiful. And so what dance moves? I know there's a piano. What, I would what have moves? to call a dancer to come and teach me no, no, um, you, well, myself you, what dance moves do you know off the top of your head <laughs> it's going to some, some a piano or oh, some, some different different ones which ones will come off on the top of your head none like i used to know azonto um amanda um but if you tell me to that, 
<laughs> you'll be able to do we're still looking out for the we're waiting for the freedom medley challenge also when, when um you collaborate or feature on other artists songs do you ask for payment and if you ask them to be on your songs do they ask for payment how's that done just um it has never thoughts. happened i've never asked anybody to pay me before i feature on their song um and nobody has charged me also for being on my song i think it's all depends on the relationship you have with the those people yeah but if you don't have any um, relationship and you want them i think um, you, you would have to do the needful the needful yeah. Right. Okay. Also, there's a conversation brewing on artists playing live music more than miming. What's your thought on that as well? Mm. Miming has never been my thing. Okay. So, if you even tell me to mime, it's very difficult for me. I've been a church girl all my life, so I've been playing live since. Mm -hmm. So, that's what I know. So, it's the best thing to do. Okay. Do you play an instrument too? I don't ha I know. I don't play an instrument. Okay. I'm here to. Okay. I'm here to. Okay. I'm, I'm here to. I want to learn the keyboard, so very soon you see it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And so, w whenever your um, your marriage anniversary comes up, we see beautiful photos. If you and we love, 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 love seeing love. Um, care to share some advice to young people, to the thousands of women who, young women who look up to you. How would you how would you keep a relationship? How would you keep it spicy? Um, this question is a very bad um, because what might work for me might not work for you. So if I tell you to do this, do that, it might not work for you. Just pray and let God be the center of your marriage. And also, we should take our marriages from the social media. The eyes of the social media. I think that will help. Yeah. yeah. We like that. We like that. We like spending time with you. Thank so you. when next that? What, what's the? I mean, we are doing. There's lots of promo on freedom. Mm -hmm. What what's happening next? Are we going to be seeing a Sissi Chum concert? A listening something? Yes. What, what are, what's um, I let me say I would have my concert this year in December, and before then, um, my That's album. That's the Gold Worship. Gold concert, Worship. Yeah? yeah, and before then, my album will be out before Gold Worship, and definitely we would have the. Um, um, the listening party. Um, I'm out with Freedom Medley, which I collected the songs from the legends, and but I am bringing another new single that I wrote that song myself. Okay. That's um, I will chip in um, that song in before Gold Worship, and the album will come out as well before Gold Worship. And in December, we're going to have a lot of songs yes, indeed, out there to sing. Okay, yeah. we can't wait. We've loved chatting with you. Thank you so much. How Welcome. do we interact with you across social media? Yes, my name on social media is Sissy Chum Music. And Freedom Medley is on YouTube. Okay. And also all the online platforms. Go check it out and it will be a blessing to you. The name is Sissy Chum Music. Social media, Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, wherever. This is true music. Right. Thank you very much for being such a beautiful blessing to us <laughs> and for blessing us with your beautiful voice. But you have to do it again on the mic. Sure. Okay? Thank you for having me. God yes, bless it's you. a pleasure. Peace. Let's go. Okay.
Yes, 